And the players get themselves into game mode with the tip off just moments away. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, Craig Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And reporting from the sidelines all game long, we've got David Aldridge. A moment now to check out some numbers for Desmond Bain. His effective field goal percentage, a favorite stat of the analytics crowd, has been on the way down over his past 10 games. His game isn't as well-rounded as it needs to be. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Morant is the point, with Bain out on the wing. Then there's Jaron Jackson. Then it's Williams. And it's LaRavia in at the four. And for San Antonio, Zohan is the four, with the lengthy Wembenyama playing the five. The cell in the wing, along with Johnson. And it's Paul in at the one. Go. There should be plenty of action down in the painted area tonight, Greg, with the big man matchup in this one. Yeah, I, I love to see skilled bigs dueling down low. Kind of a throwback in some ways, but there's still plenty of physicality in the modern game. Williams can't hit. And here are the Spurs. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Memphis this season. And, and they won the season series against this club last year, but, you know, then again, so did a lot of other teams. Now here's Paul. And Benyama outside. Just four to shoot. And they'll turn it over. Ah. Get off a shot. Four second violation. And powering into the first week of the new year. Here's a brand new look at the power rankings. You look at Minnesota. They sink a little bit here in the rankings. Still, though, remaining in the top five. And you know for the Spurs... They've used the doubters as fuel for this season's strong showing. Night after night, each guy plays with that proverbial chip on his shoulder. And that one's good. Morant can't lay off of Morant. When he's roaming around that mid-range area, you know he's ready to lock in. Paul, right side. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's always nice to get the easy look inside for your first points of the game. Williams passes to Morant. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. The wing jumper off target. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Now, here's Vassell. Coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. Here's Wimbenyama. And Wimbenyama Woo. throws it down. Now you have to be aware of Wimbenyama on the boards. Really keep a body on him. Wimbenyama with the offensive the rebound and the putback. Our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Well, Kevin, Greg Popovich and I talked for a few minutes. Of course, John Morant's name first and foremost, so I asked him about the strategy. He said try to plug every defensive hole we see. I know if we give Morant any space, he'll try and slice right through us so we can't have any cracks in the armor. A tall order for the defense against the unstoppable Morant. Back to you. Right. Colin Johnson for three. Drains it. Drills the three-pointer. Oh, I love Johnson's attitude. Marches down and gets his revenge with the three. Pass to Moravia. Williams looking around. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. I don't get it. How is that a foul, dude? And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Richard, one thing is for sure with these Spurs. A lot of top free agents have got to be looking at him now as a destination. It doesn't take a lot of skill to see that Wimby is a different type of player. And look, if you are a free agent, that's the player that you want to look at to say, hey, can I team up with him and go on a string of championships? Now here's Paul. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Launches a three. John Morant with the rebound. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Williams kicks to Morant. Memphis moving that ball around. Jackson a screen on Vassell. Payne for three. 
And another miss by Memphis. San Antonio's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Sohan. And the rebound. Sohan, I swear to Christ. Outside Williams. Pass to Bain. Rebound by Sohan. Last game for the Spurs, they picked up the W against the Los Angeles Lakers. Paul kicks to Vassell. Rem Benyama sets a screen for Vassell. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. The Grizzlies have gone 2 of 6 in the field. Pass to LaRavia. Jackson with it, covered by Vassell. Took the opportunity when he saw it. The team first mindset of Jackson willing to get the ball to his open guys. Williams against Johnson. Ben Benyama, I screen on Williams. Kelvin Johnson for three. Back to back threes from Kelvin Johnson puts ties it. Starting to find his rhythm from three. Working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Here's LaRavia. He averages a bit over six points a game. Back to Morant. And finished off by Morant. Showing off that verb. Morant attacks the basket with just such intensity. There's not much any defense can do with him. Now here's Paul. Rem Benyama sets a screen for Paul. Chris Paul for three. Gets him right back. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that moment. Moran's against Paul. Jacks up a three. It's not going to go for him. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Spurs. And that one, good. And this is what you want to see. Moran attacking with authority inside. Moran kicks to Jackson. Pass to Williams. On the way in vain. Let's it go. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Bain's got five now. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. It's Vassell on the wing. Still yet to score. And Wimbenyama throws it down. And once Wimby has that offensive board, the rest is easy. Especially considering his size. Morant outside. Shot from the wing. Again, Memphis. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. For San Antonio, they've gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Rem Benyama, a screen on Williams. A shot. Only gave him one point lead. Forty-two, forty-one is when we come back into the game. John Morant's going crazy. Victor's doing his thing. I think I'm gonna have someone else guard him though. Memphis has gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. They've got Zach Collins. Barnes out there with Victor Wembenyama. Then it's Chris Paul. And it's Branham in a And two. one. Chris Antonio. Paul. John Moran has three fouls now. Marcus Marks checked in for Morant. In a moment, I'll quickly take a look at the offense of a three point play for Chris Paul. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside, looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. And they've also been effective from beyond the arc tonight. And if that continues, guys, they can really open up the rest of their offense. Now here's Jackson. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. And it became very clear very early, RJ, that Wembenyama is what... Chris Paul does it again. Lays it up and in. 
You never know until those first few games, but it was quick five points from Chris Paul showing us the future Hall of Famer. He's already met those lofty expectations that we all had for him. You're smart following the basket by Chris Paul. A kick out to Bain. Gets the front of the rim and out. San Antonio leading by four. Now here's Paul. He's got ten. To the wing on the left. Ben Benyama, a screen on Bain. Branham. Hey! Branham's for three. I thought that was going to go out. I was like, what? Yeah, but they can't relax. No shot. Gotta keep time out, time out. Time out. This is as they give it to lead. It's eight. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. this season and here's a look at the players most likely to make it and so many great shooters in the NBA these days and, and these guys quite frankly the best of the best I wouldn't be surprised if we see a scoring record broken in this year's competition you take a look at Vassell he's going to need to leapfrog quite a few great shooters if he's going to be a part of the three point festivities at All-Star Weekend but you know, maybe he can do it I mean it, anything's possible especially if he has a few big games from beyond the arc before All-Star Weekend. That give him a nice bump in the voting. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. That, that's the one thing we all know. We, we've got an incredible group of long-distance shooters in this in league right now. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. Smart on the wing to the middle. Williams kicks to Smart. Pass to Clark. Will it go? Rebounded by the Spurs. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. Now here's Paul. Cowan setting the pick for Paul. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. You're smart. And slam dunk by Smart. Not settling for the layup. Once Smart has the rim on sight, he is clear for takeoff. They set the pick. Takes a three. Nailed from Brown again for three. Brown's got the lead up to eight. That's two threes in this game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Smart against Paul. Outside, Smart. Bain for three. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Bain's got six here in this quarter. Oh, man, just a big response from Bain. On the wing, Barnes. He's guarded by Williams. Harrison Barnes for three. It's San Antonio with a three. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, the Grizzlies retired Mark Gasol's number 33 last season. You may recall he moved to Memphis in his teens, watching his older brother Pal play for the Grizz. Mark said, I had a very unique perspective, that of a fan. When I came back as a Grizzlies player, I carried that with me. Kevin, that pride certainly showed. Pride's a great word to use. No question, DA. Thank you. The Grizzlies trail by six. Payne for three. And it's Manu Kamishvili with the rebound. And there's the drive. Brown oh. can get it to go. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. 
smart deciding where to go with it. Pass to Bain. Lock at six. Clark sets a screen for Bain. They get it again. No good from Clark. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Now, here's Collins. The offensive rebound. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Hard work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. There goes that call. Let's get a rebound. Oh, shit. Here's Bain. Drilled How? Feet out. Bain's got 10 points in the quarter. Kind of a rare spot for Bain, but he's a true shooter, so he can get it dialed in. Collins, a screen on Williams. And here's Barnes for three. Good on the triple. Barnes has got a pair of triples in the second now for the Spurs. And we've reached half time in this one. All right, I'll be back. Spurs lead by now. And Jeff's now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we had ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. The guys were in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. Yeah, you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Hey, everybody. Always a fascinating story. Our first order of business. Let's catch you up on some trades around the league. Any trades going down in the studio that I need to know about, fellas? Well, Kenny refused to trade his donut with mine this morning. Yeah, you already had taken a whole monster bite out of it. Like, I don't want to use donut. That's an authentic shack bite donut, probably worth millions. You missed out. All right, looking back now at that first half, a bit of a hill to climb for the Grizzlies. I mean, it's pretty simple. More rebounds, more opportunities. Right now, they're getting crushed on the glass shack. From where I'm sitting, I don't see the energy, and I do not see the effort. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Just joining us in this one. First half is in the books. One half to go. Desmond Bain really making a difference here. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second. say his success will continue and you look at the Grizzlies defense the last few years RJ extremely disruptive yeah they've been top of the league in steals and blocks that's just a part of the DNA in Memphis it can be exhausting playing against guys like this taking a look at the Grizzlies Sam Moran is the point with Bain out of the win then it's Williams and there's Jackson and it's Laravia in at the four slot Memphis shooting their 7th and 8th free throw attempts for the game right here. In an era where so many point guards are three-point shooters, John Morant, you know what? This man is built different. He's more of a throwback. John wants to apply pressure by driving, not shooting threes. Now, here's Vassell. Oh, and with the screen. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And sometimes on defense, yeah, you could just get lucky. Pass to Morant. They set the pick. Outside, Bain. Jackson setting the pick here for Bain. Traps in the tray. Bain's got 20 points. 
He's really made his impact felt tonight. Bain has played with maximum effort tonight. On the wing, Johnson. He's guarded by Williams. Fires from the wing. And a little hook <laughs> that time, but it drops. Johnson's got 11. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let it roll. Now here's Morant. He's got 13. A shake. <laughs> and the call <laughs> on the shot that sends him to the line. Chris Paul. RJ Moran has always had unquestionable chance. Now it's a question of can he focus on his game? And you hope he had his wake-up call. Still one of the most exciting players in the game. His burst and bounce, one of a kind. Trey Jones has checked in for Paul. Here's Wembenyama. He's got 10. So in with the screen. Wembenyama! Big man with big range. Sometimes you watch Wembenyama and think this guy is a cheat code. Hitting threes at well over 7 feet tall. Here's Payne. That one a little long. With some cribs you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Out to the right wing. Williams with the steal. Now it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look like any fun. Yeah, it looks like he's in real pain. Definitely a concern right now. Look, I'm no doctor, and I know that might be a surprise to a lot of you people, but look, that looked pretty Was it out of bounds for some reason? Some extended time. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Smart's checked in. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Now, Morant. He's got 15. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Great with how explosive John Morant is. He has certainly taken his fair share of awkward falls. And that's what worries you with guys like that. He's already had a number of injuries in his young career, but we all just want to see him at full health. Spurs making a switch here. Collins has checked in. Now here's Jones. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Oh, good on the triple. The Grizzly shooting around 41% on the night. Morant with a wide open look. Connects from three-point range. Three. Morant's got 20. When Ja is knocking down that three consistently, it takes his game to a different level. Collins setting the pick for Bissell. And they come right back with their own three-point. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Morant with the bucket. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Collins setting the pick for Bissell. Outside, Jones. Five on the clock. Stolen by Smart. Here's Morant. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got three assists on the game. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Now here's Johnson. He's got 11. No good on the wing three. All the time in the world to get that one off. And the points coming for them now, Greg and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high-octane offense should look like. San Antonio is yes. less than productive 2 of 6 from 3-point land in the second half. Vassell outside. There's a screen by Collins. From 11 feet away, Vassell no good. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you hear Richard about players dunking and putting a hurting on the rim. But that iron sometimes can put a hurting on a player's hands too, right? Oh, and then when you get older, those landings, they can start to hurt too. End of the day, there's a price to be paid for all that high flying in the market. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. 
You look at San Antonio. Right now, they've compiled the third best record in the conference. And checking out Memphis. They're much further down in the standings right now. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Their biggest lead of the game was not I had a chance to check out the stats for John Moran. His last 10 games have been exceptional. He's getting around 16 points a game, seven assists, and five rebounds. And you look at his huge role in their offense, a major contributor as far as putting up points. He's just a natural scorer and someone this offense leans on to help shoulder the load and lead the charge. G.G. Jackson. He's checked in for Memphis. Marcus, the great point guards keep their eyes up on the court. Young players should watch how smart goes about this man's business. Cowan setting the pick for Vassell. Gets the three-point of the fall. Vassell's got eight points. And you can tell he's starting to figure things out here in the second half. Pass to Laravia. Here's Jackson. Outside Williams takes the three. Rebounded by the Spurs. Collins has got six rebounds in the game. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. Inside, you're smart. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Ten points for him. And that's an error by the D. You can't give someone like Smart that kind of position inside. Collins, a screen on Jackson. And the basket by Vassell. Vassell's got the game tied up here for San Antonio. Paul is out there with Jones. Then there's Zach Collins. And it's Branham in at the three slot. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Now here's Smart. Down to five on the shot clock. Memphis needs to get off his shot here. Jackson from long range. Oh, he got knocked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. It's the size of Jackson Jr. that is so hard to match up with. This is why defenders are just forced to foul him. Richard last season marked the fifth consecutive year that the Spurs missed the playoffs. And this drought came directly after their historic streak of 22 consecutive playoff appearances. But the silver lining in this stretch is that it allowed them to draft a generational talent in Wendell Young. The wily vet Paul able to score down low. The Grizzlies have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Smart dishes to Williams. to the basket. Pass to Laravia. Morant against Paul. The Grizzlies with another miss. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Here's Collins. And it's Laravia with the rebound. His consistency just hasn't been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. Back to Morant. Sinks that one from the post. Morant's got 35. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. So in with the screen. And a miss there on the triple. And he didn't punt it. It's over.
beat the Grizzlies in the rematch. Beat the Heat. Beat the Pacers. I guess we're out. Lose the Pacers again. Lose the Clippers. Lose the Bucks. Terry Collins got to go. I'm tired of him. We're definitely keeping Chris Paul for the long haul. Peace.